Saturn is often called the most beautiful planet in the solar system, but we understand that it's a matter of taste. Regardless of one's preference, we can agree that Saturn stands out from the rest of the planets. Thanks to its impressive rings and immense size, many consider Saturn one of the most fascinating planets in the solar system. But what makes Saturn such an interesting and outstanding place? It can't just be its rings, right? I'm Michael Fliss25, and if you want to know more about this amazing planet, check out these 25 dizzying facts about the planet Saturn. You'll find yourself at least 100% wiser by the time you reach the end of this video. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell. It's in this area somewhere. Click it, do it, do it. Twenty-five. Like all the planets, Saturn is named after a Greek deity. Saturn is named after Saturnus, the god of agriculture and harvest. Saturn in the Roman religion is equivalent to the ancient Greek Titan Kronos, who is famous for eating his own children and for being the father of the mighty Zeus. Twenty-four. Saturn is the second largest in the solar system, after Jupiter. To get an idea of how big Saturn is, scientists estimate that about 764 planets the size of Earth could fit into Saturn. For the fans of numbers, the equatorial diameter of Saturn is 120,536 kilometers. That's about nine and a half times bigger than the diameter of the Earth. The surface area of Saturn is 83 times the area of Earth, and the volume is 764 times the volume of Earth. 23. Saturn is among the so-called team of naked eye planets, along with Mercury, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Technically Earth. You could probably see Earth from Earth with your naked eye by just looking down. That's true. Why are they called this? Because they're visible from Earth with the naked eye, without the need for a telescope. Yeah! Hey look, I see Earth. 22. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun. but. How does this translate in actual distance? Well, Saturn's distance from the Sun is about 10 times farther than our planet is from the Sun, roughly 1 billion miles. As a result of this huge distance, Saturn shines only by reflecting the light of the Sun. 21. Galileo was the first man to observe Saturn with a telescope in 1610. Because of the primitive technology and design of the telescopes back then, the famous scientist couldn't really understand what the famous rings of the planet were. He first thought that Saturn had two gigantic moons around it. After observing it again with a newer telescope in 1616, he concluded that Saturn was a really weird planet with arms or handles. God, that'd be awesome. I want Saturn to have arms again. And handles. Hashtag bring back the arms. <laughs> Hashtag make Saturn have arms again. Yes. 20. You've probably heard before that Saturn is a gas giant, right? Astronomers use the name gas giant for any gigantic planet composed mainly of hydrogen and helium. Jupiter and Saturn are the only gas giants in our solar system. Saturn is also sometimes called a failed star. Gas giants also go by this lesser known name because they contain the same basic elements as a star. 19. Saturn's surface is nothing like that of Earth's. This planet is made mostly of gases. For this reason, it doesn't have a solid surface on which you could hypothetically walk or stand. 18. Earth is known for being the densest planet in the solar system, uh. while Saturn is the opposite. The density of the planet is estimated to be 0.687 grams per cubic centimeter, which is less dense than water. In other words, Saturn could float in water. Oh man, I want to see that. You wouldn't want to because it would ring. It would uh, leave rings in the tub. Get out! Wait, no, we have to film. I can't do this. <laughs> you need me. Insert quote about it brought you back to me. I can't remember it right now. Uh, you could not live there with your own failure. And where did that bring, bring you? you? Back to me. Back to me. Seventeen. The atmosphere of Saturn is composed primarily of hydrogen, which was captured in the early stages of its formation. Most of the remaining composition is helium. There are also traces of other substances like methane, ammonia, and propane. All that gas produces high pressure as you descend into the atmosphere. 
NASA scientists suggest that the pressures of Saturn's core is 1,000 times stronger than that of Earth's. This is enough pressure to force hydrogen into its liquid state and finally into a solid metal at the planet's core. Needless to say, this kind of pressure wouldn't only crush the human body, but even man-made spaceships that might attempt to land on this planet. 16. Only four spacecraft have visited Saturn so far. The first was Pioneer 11 in 1973. Voyager 1 and 2 followed in 1977. It was the Cassini mission that sent back an immense wealth of data about the planet, its moons, and rings. The Cassini spacecraft orbited Saturn from June 30th, 2004 until September 15th, 2017. A total of 13 years and three months. 15. Saturn used to have the second most moons in the solar system, behind Jupiter, but not anymore. Thanks to images taken by Cassini, astronomers discovered 20 new moons orbiting the planet recently, bringing its total number to 82, three more than Jupiter. 14. Saturn's largest moon, named Titan, is the second largest natural satellite in the solar system. It's the only moon known to have a dense atmosphere and the only known body in space, other than Earth, where scientists have found evidence of surface liquid. Even more impressive is Saturn's second largest moon, Rhea. This moon has a sparse atmosphere with lots of oxygen. In fact, oxygen makes up about 70% of Rhea's atmosphere, while carbon dioxide takes up the remaining 30%. 13. Discovered in 1789 by William Herschel, Saturn's moon Enceladus is important for us, the people of Earth. Enceladus has geysers that erupt icy particles, water vapor, and organic compounds. According to many scientists, these geysers may very well contain ingredients for life. 12. Can you think of the wildest and fastest winds on Earth? Sorry to disappoint you, but no matter how fast they may be, they're still slow compared to Saturn's winds, which can run as fast as 1,118 miles per hour. On Earth, the fastest winds only get to about 400 kilometers per hour, or 250 miles per hour, which is amateur compared to the winds of Saturn. 11. All right, let's set things straight. Saturn is not the only planet with rings. It happens to have the largest and most impressive rings. That's all. There are four planets in the solar system with rings, including Saturn. The other three are Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune. It was not until the 1970s that astronomers discovered rings around the other three gas planets. Still, Tom Brady has more Super Bowl rings than our solar system. Nice. What? Boo, Patriots! Go Bucks! 10. Unlike Brady's rings, Saturn's are definitely not made of gold. Actually, they're not even solid. They're comprised of bits of ice, dust, and rock. Some of these chunks are very small and tiny, like a grain of sand, while some of them are larger than tall buildings here on Earth. It's been suggested by astronomers that the material of the rings was created from asteroids, comets, or even moons that at some point broke apart before they reached the planet. Like my dreams. Nine. Images taken by the Cassini spacecraft revealed the surprising age of Saturn's impressive rings. According to a new study, scientists concluded that the planet's rings are much younger than they once believed. It's now estimated that the rings were probably formed in the last 100 million years. This might sound ancient, but not too long ago, some astronomers suggested that they were around 4 billion years old. 8. Saturn has seven main rings that consist of thousands of smaller rings. The rings are huge, but thin. The thinness of the planetary rings is caused by their ever-changing nature. Just for the record, the ring farthest from the planet, known as the E-ring, is about 180,000 miles across. 7. Saturn's rings seem to disappear every 14 years. Astronomers suggest that the rings usually disappear when Saturn is tilted directly in line with Earth. The worrying part, however, is that Saturn's rings may disappear permanently. According to scientific speculation, roughly 100 million years from now, Saturn's gravitational pull could eventually suck the rings into the planet, or the rings just might dissolve into space. So switch to solar and electric cars. Stop global warming and save Saturn. I mean, I'm all for that, but I don't think that's going to help. We can try it. All right. And we 
might just help ourselves along the way. Well, we will. That's the non-might. We will help ourselves. We might help Saturn. Six. Saturn rotates much faster than Earth, so a day there is shorter than a day here. A day on Saturn is about 10.6 hours long, which is the second shortest day of any of our solar system's planets. Five. As I already mentioned before, Saturn's distance from the sun is about a billion miles, give or take. That's a really long distance the planet needs to cover in order to complete a full orbit around the sun. As a result of this enormous distance, a year on Saturn lasts about as long as 29 and a half years here on Earth. Hey, I've made it. You are uh, I've, one. I've been. <laughs> You're one on Saturn. I'm one in a little bit on Saturn. That's pretty All cool. right, I did it. Four. With an average temperature of negative 288 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 178 Celsius, you wouldn't describe Saturn as a warm planet. Not the place you'd visit for a summer vacation. Three. Saturn is the flattest planet in the solar system, by far. Its polar diameter is 90% of its equatorial diameter. This is due to the planet's low density and fast rotation. Saturn is flat. Damn. Not as flat as Earth, though. Oh, yeah. Oh. The Earth is flat. <laughs> no, no, it's... Two. Astronomers have identified two kinds of storms on Saturn. The planet has relatively small storms that appear as bright clouds and last for a few days. Then there are the so-called great white spots that are 10 times larger and can last for months. Interestingly, astronomers have also noticed that most storms on Saturn are oval shaped. Specifically, the region around its North Pole has a hexagonal shaped pattern of clouds. The planet also has a vortex over its South Pole that resembles a hurricane-like storm. One. Saturn is sometimes called the jewel of the solar system because its ring system looks like a crown. Some have suggested that Saturn got this nickname because it's the most beautiful planet to look at. However, I hope you'll allow us to kindly disagree. I insist that our blue planet is the queen of the beauty. <laughs> Can't even do it with a straight face. I'm trying. Well, I mean, we have water, which is nice. Yeah, but we don't have rings. <laughs> I want rings, Mike. Well, then blow up our moon. Ooh. <laughs> uh, anyway, Earth is the most beautiful in our solar system. What else? Saturn can be a close second. <laughs> Hashtag blow up the moon. So, if you could visit any planet in our solar system and, you know, not die, which would you visit? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your answer to us at list 25 People are going to say Uranus. I know. In before Uranus. Or, you know, if you could visit a planet and die, which would you visit? I thought you were going to say visit a planet and Uranus. No. Hooray <laughs> space. These comments you guys make are very disrespectful. So are you guys going to join Space Force? Let us know in the comments below. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button on the bottom right and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.